later chapters the book was written in unknown writing. In later chapters the book was written in unknown writing. In later chapters the book was written in unknown writing. In later chapters the book was written in unknown writing. A most valuable volume. The uncle had a soft spot for old manuscripts. was not for me, but never mind. My uncle was clearly afraid of something. I need to find this Anderson guy. It looks as if my uncle left the flat just for a moment. uncle must have been under a lot of pressure recently. This made him sleepless. solution. 
Sylvie, think. Sylvie, think. We need an alternative solution. Trial and error method, they say. No can do. Trial and error method, they say. childhood you two were friends oh if i had been working here those days you would remember me some folks here still reminisce about the mischief of three kids especially stealing the yacht and sailing out to sea hmm we just um borrowed it if the coast guard had not meddled in our business the yacht would have been back at the docks on time so kind and finally introduce yourself? I'm a police inspector. And my name is Gronk. Hmm, well, what's the deal with my uncle? It's a tad awkward. <laughs> Excuse me? Your uncle worked on some research on Gozo. Yes, he's been working here for years, and he's responsible for many discoveries. We all know that. The professor is held in very high regard because of his scientific successes. Well, he was up until now. So you know he's lost the sight? This is an outrage! When was the last time you spoke to him? Two days ago, on the phone. You didn't meet on Malta? No, not yet. He's not home. He must have gone to Gazo. I've been trying to get in touch with him for the past two days, but he has gone missing. Missing? What do you mean? He is not home. He is not on Gozo. He's not in any of the places he usually visited. Ugh, I'm worried. My uncle led a life according to routine. So, Inspector, do you have any other questions? Oh, indeed. Uh, for instance, I'm curious if the Professor talked to you about any details pertaining to his latest discovery. Details? He never got the chance. I told you, we never even met. Just making sure. Will you continue your uncle's work? Yes. I will keep an eye on his house. It could be looted by collectors of some sorts. <sighs> Thank you. That's very kind. I can even peep in, if you wish, to check to see if everything is all right. All you need to do is uh, let me in. Mm, spare the trouble. I don't think that's necessary. I speak as a concerned citizen. We are all proud of Olivier LaRue's heritage. Really? So, if what you say is true, why did they stop his works? Why did the police take interest in my uncle? Do you realize that precious excavations, the stone tablets found by Mr. LaRue, have disappeared from the outpost on Gozo? No. When? Two days ago. After he lost the sight? Do you think there's a connection? Yes, indeed. Someone took advantage the moment there was no one to lead the site. Hmm. Another archaeologist, Henry Simon, took over. I don't think that was the case. <laughs> Why? This is all too obvious. In my opinion, it was the professor who took the tablets and vanished. <laughs> what? What an idiotic theory. You're out of your mind. No. I am seeking for the simplest of solutions. So, there it goes. A frustrated professor who had his reese uh, You know what, enough. ...decides to take back what he thinks rightfully belongs... You simply don't understand scientists' motives. My profession has taught me to distance myself from other people's declarations. But deep inside, we all have dark drives and desires. This professional suspiciousness clearly makes you sick. Only the sick know the value of good health. I don't believe you'll find the thief. In any case... If the professor...